I didn't ask her this, so I think that it's time to show who I am now. December 23rd, 2022, one day before her birthday, 22-year-old Jacqueline Durand was approaching the house she had been hired to dog sit at when she wasn't taking classes at the University of Texas in Dallas. A sign the homeowners had above the entrance would give an ominous warning, one that would go unnoticed. And so Jacqueline walked right into what would become a living nightmare. Immediately after entering the front glass door, and before she could even close the actual second front door, the two dogs in the home, a German Shepherd named Lucy and a pit bull named Bender, rushed directly towards Jacqueline, violently bringing her down to the ground, causing her to drop her cell phone, and then dragged her from the front door all the way into the kitchen. At this point, the two large dogs pinned her down and mauled her face, ripping off her ears, nose, cheeks, and lips to the bone. These dogs were actually so violent and bloodthirsty that they ripped apart and tore off all the articles of clothing that Jacqueline was wearing. Now, fortunately, because Jacqueline was not able to actually close that second front door, it triggered a home security alarm. And so eventually, local police showed up to the property, as seen in this footage. I see her feet right there. First responder body camera video shows the two dogs who attacked her, holding the police at bay. Once police made their way inside, Jacqueline was ultimately rushed to a nearby hospital and underwent multiple operations. The first one, which was an emergency surgery, lasted seven hours, and she had to be resuscitated on the operation table multiple times. Now, the couple that owned these two dogs, Ashley Joe Bishop and Avery Bishop offered no help and no financial assistance to her whatsoever. Since this incident, Jacqueline acquired a lawyer and this couple has been served a lawsuit. Also, the two dogs involved in this attack were ultimately ordered by a judge to be euthanized. Jacqueline says to the public she does not want to be seen as a victim and only an example to other dog owners to know your dogs, take more precaution, and just be careful.